a really big God bless you friends. You know we're living in really exciting days. I know that we're living in challenging days but we're also living in very exciting days because anyone who has their ear attuned to heaven, anyone who has their, their spirit connected with the Father can see what is happening in the spiritual realm, can see that something is shifting. And, you know, whenever tyranny uh, really takes a foothold on the earth, something moves in heaven, something moves in heaven. And God has not abandoned us. Um, and this really, friends, is a time on the earth it's our greatest moment. It's our, it's our greatest hour. It's the greatest hour on the earth that possibly the earth has ever seen. God is with anyone who has given their lives solely to him, who is not torn between the two worlds, who is not sitting on the fence, He's not lukewarm, but he's hot, hot, hot. They are the ones whose hearts are filled with the oil, with the reserves. They are ready, they are prepared for the future. Friends, God is with us, monumentally. He's with anyone and all those whose hearts are attuned to him. Friends, yes, there are challenging times ahead and yes the great reset has been initiated and yes the globalists are uh, installing that world order as prophesied in the bible incredible times are here where bible prophecy is is being fulfilled moment by moment it's almost impossible to keep up with it um, i used to research this regularly uh, for the radio show that I used to do on End Time on Eternal Radio called End Time Hour, and uh, it was far, it was hard some weeks to find information that lined up with Bible prophecy to find current news. But friends, now if I was running that show, I wouldn't know what what to choose. I wouldn't know what to choose from. It's everywhere, you know. The payment with the head and the hand is everywhere. Amazon, Mastercard, they're all doing it they're all implementing it and uh the chip is is talked about the world economic forum they're talking about all of these things the cashless society has been significantly advanced since the rollout of this whole pandemic cash is dirty on the cash is the virus and so of course you've got to eliminate cash you've got to eliminate cash and then of course once we have a cashless society and everything has been digitized. They have total control of the people. Friends, we should think about making preparations for a cashless society because those who are deemed an enemy of the state will have their money turned off. They will have their funds cut off. And so we should think about that. Not only believers, not only Christians, but all kinds of uh, people that are anti-establishment and are speaking out against the narrative, the established narrative that is in the mainstream media that has conditioned the masses so they cannot know the truth, conditioned the masses so that they totally deny that the sky is blue and the grass is green because they've been conditioned to believe otherwise. Friends, it's now so uh, clear that the people have been brainwashed that now reports can come out even in the mainstream news and people still deny they still deny it there was a report that I listened to on Fox News just some weeks ago and a guy was actually announcing that hundreds of thousands of people in America had been damaged by the can you believe that came out on Fox News but the people are so conditioned to accept the narrative that they totally reject or dismiss that 
as nonsensical as something that's not really true. And the social engineers have been working around the clock over the last two years, but they've been going at this for decades. They've been going at this for decades. People aren't free thinkers. They've been conditioned to believe what has been told to them. They've been brainwashed. You know what's amazing is how people in the world are always worried about their children being brainwashed by Christianity and they want to rescue their kids. When I've been preaching on the streets, I've had, I see mothers take their children quickly away, but they wouldn't bat an eyelid if a drag queen was put in front of them to read a story to their kids. Don't worry about that kind of brainwashing. Friends, people have been conditioned to believe in a certain kind of way. We're not free thinkers, friends, unless we have been liberated by the power of Jesus Christ. And then we're not subject to the mainstream media. We're not subject to the spirit of this age, the God of this world who has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Friends, that television sits pride of place in so many homes and it is deceiving the inhabitants of the earth. It's a weapon set against us. Friends, this is the evidence, isn't it, that so many people believe in the narrative, the established narrative. They believe it because they've been propagandised. They have, they have, they have subju been subjected to lies. Satan is the father of lies. He is the prince of the power of the air. It's why the mainstream media is full of lies. It is fake news. And anyone who speaks out against the narrative, they are accused of the very thing that they are. They are the fake news. And they accuse those speaking out against the narrative as being fake. Friends, we are living in the days that were prophesied by the Apostle John on the island of Patmos, where the world would be totally deceived. Deceived by sorcery, as it says in Revelation, which is pharmacaea. Also deceived by these things, friends. Deceived by witchcraft. Deceived by so many things. You know, the masses, they seek after. They seek after the systems of this world to help them, to, to secure them. You know that, that uh, the government are creating uh, community places where people can go and together to, to, to be warm, to save energy during the winter time. Friends, problem, reaction, solution, they create the problem and then they get the reaction, which is panic, we can't pay the bills, and then they offer the solution. What is it? More government. Government, we depend on government. Thank you, government. Thank you, government, for helping us out. You're so benevolent, you're so kind. Friends, we have got to turn to God in this day and not be taken off guard. The only good thing about this community idea, if it happens, is that people can use it. Christians, believers can use it to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. But friends, the government wants any, any, any opportunity to get the people to engage with the government and to have its their lives depend upon them handouts helping you know the 400 pounds that's coming to help with the fuel costs thank you government thank you prime minister friends we've got to turn to god in this hour we can't trust in government we can't trust in earthly powers they are all connected to the World Economic Forum, friends, which is the Antichrist system. It's the Antichrist system. We've got to separate ourselves out of the world. Friends, we've got to separate ourselves out of the world. Friends, we are, we are in this world, friends, but we're not of this world. Friends, not, we cannot serve two masters. We either love one or we hate the other. We either love God. Or we hate God. Friends, we've got to choose this day who we will serve. Are we going to serve Jesus Christ with all of our hearts and say, Jesus, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever comes. Tribulation, persecution, torment, whatever it is. 
Are we ready? Are we ready to suffer for Jesus Christ? And in the end, he will say, well done. Well done, good and faithful servant. Friends, he won't say away from me. I never knew you because he'll know us very well. He will know us. He will know us. Friends, do you know God? You know, he's drawing hearts today. He's drawing hearts across the earth in an incredible awakening, friends. I'm not just talking about an awakening to the narrative. That's good. But friends, at the end of the day, if we're not awakened to Jesus Christ, then all is lost. It's only Jesus that wins this battle, friends. It's only Jesus coming on the clouds of heaven that will wash this empire away. It's as the scriptures declare. Friends, we're not going to win this. We're not going to win this. It's Jesus Christ. He's coming on the clouds of heaven and every eye will see. And friends, we're going to reach, reach a point where it's the spirit and the bride say, come. The spirit and the bride in unison say, come, Lord Jesus. Bang. And that's it. That's it. Suddenly, the trumpet is sounded. Oh, hallelujah, friends. It's coming. It's coming. And God is raising up a body of believers across the earth. And it is incredible. It is incredible, friends. It is, it is a new day. It is a new day for the church. And yes, there will be great tribulation. And there will be great persecution across the earth. And many will die, friends. But they will not. They will not die in defeat. They will be totally victorious and they will go straight straight to the throne of God friends and under the altar where they will join with the other martyrs friends and when the when the number of martyrs is in that's it that's it that's it friends God is doing a wonderful thing on the earth today and many things many things are being revealed that were once hidden we now know, friends, that the wickedness is utterly wicked. Friends, it is time for us to come into, into the realm of God, into the realm of God, into the realm of his holiness, friends. He is righteous. He is true. He is good. Friends, let's go in. Let's go into the secret place of the Most High today. And let's run in with all of our might, friends. It's the only thing that's going to save us, friends. We don't have to worry about the winter. We don't have to worry about the fuel increases. We don't have to worry, friends, about what's going to happen next, friends. Because God is with us. God is with us. Let's give our lives to Jesus today. Let's sacrifice everything and go out and preach this glorious gospel. And in the end, friends, he will say, well done. He will say, well done. Friends, we don't have to worry. He's going to provide. He's going to provide for everything. He's providing for us. It's an incredible thing that, he, that God is doing, friends, that he has provided for us. He's providing. He provides. God is our provider. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Friends, his grace his grace is sufficient for us. So, friends, an incredible time on the earth. Let's call out to God. Let's trust only in him. Let's not, let's not trust in government. Let's not trust in earthly powers. And let's, let's, let's ask God. Let's ask God and make sure that we're serving him with a whole heart. And, and friends, as we do, he will empower us to run the race without looking back. Hallelujah. A really big... God bless you, love you all, and I'll speak to you again another time. Bye-bye.